Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge, and this is the second part of our video tutorial series for Java programming. So, in this video, guys, we're going to install the IDE. Um, but uh, in the early part of our video tutorial, uh, video tutorial series, we're going to be using uh, Notepad as our main code editor, and then we're going to be using the um, command prompt that uh, as you can see here for compiling our java source code and later on as we go along or move along with our video tutorial series we're going to be using the vs code or visual studio code so you can download that uh, by just searching for the vs code here and then click on the first link and then you just have to select the correct file for your um operating system so for example you're using windows um, mac or linux based operating system so you can do that uh, you can install that uh, but as i've said we're going to be using notepad as our main code it ed uh, code editor as of this moment and later on we will move on to the vs code and uh, later on also we're going to be using an online java compiler so for example if you don't want to install anything to your computer you can just um, uh, use an online compiler for your java source code so you can uh, do that but if you want to be serious on java programming i am advising you to install the jdk and then use uh, maybe notepad or vs code or even uh, netbeans later on if you are serious in java programming but in the case of uh, simplicity we're going to be using notepad right here and of, of course the command prompt that comes uh you know out of the box um from windows so in here as you can see uh we are in this current directory uh, users uh, c drive and then users and then admin and uh, there's few commands that i want you to familiarize so for example the dir so the dir if you type that inside the command prompt it lists all the directories and files inside that particular um, um, directory so for example we're in the admin directory so if we try, try to type in um, dir it will list all directories and files inside the admin folder so what we want is to go to the desktop and uh, let's add or make our source code in the desktop um, directory so um, another command that we want to be familiar with is the cd or change directory so what we want is to, to go to the desktop here so change directory and then desktop so again you have to be familiar with all the commands that we're using here again the dir uh, for listing all the uh, all the files and directories inside the current directory and we have also the cd uh, for changing changing the current directory okay and if you want to go back to the previous um, directory so for example currently we're on the desktop directory so if you want to go back to the admin directory all you have to do is use the cd command and then that that okay so it means that uh, we, we are now inside the admin directory okay again familiarize dir familiarize cd for example and then the name of the directory allocation so desktop and in here we can also add another uh, directory or yeah another folder so by just using the mkdir command so what this does is um, it creates a new directory for example mkdir and then let's say programming so basically we're just using this command mkdir to, to create the programming directory or folder so if you try to go to that directory right now, 
change directory and then programming okay so currently we're inside the programming directory and if you try to type in dir so we don't have files or directories inside the programming because currently this is empty this is the newly created directory okay now uh in java programming we're going to be creating all our files inside this particular um, folder programming so um take note also if you want to use um directory with like sp um space in the file name or folder name for example um mkdr and then level one okay though you can create the directory but as you can see here it creates two directories level and then the one so if you want to create a directory with space all you have to do is i mean space in the, the folder name or directory name all you have to do is enclose that with double quotes so for example level two and um, enter so if you try to check the contents of our programming folder that will be um we have the level one uh, level folder and then one folder and of course the level two folder okay so of course you can um, delete the folders by using for example m uh, rmdir uh, one okay so there's only now two directories the level and then the level two so let's just remove also the level two uh, rmdir and then i'm gonna delete the level two because i don't like that um, folder name okay now inside our um, programming dir we already have the level okay now in here what we could do is to try to um, add a java file for our source code itself so for example we want to save um, our first java source code inside our java programming or programming or folder all we have to do is save our file save us and then uh, programming folder okay and then here we're gonna say uh, select the uh, all files for the type and then the file name will, uh, should be for example hello and then dot java so if you're making a source code in java make sure that your um, the file name is just like this you have to type in um, the file name and then the that java extension and take note that it is very important that your file name correspond to your uh, java class so let me show you um, hello that java and then all file uh, i mean the save as type is all files and then save so if you try to check here in our programming directory so we will now have the hello.java uh, file which is our source code now if you are making your um, class in java make sure that it corresponds to the file name that you are using so for example um, in order to, to display a simple message in java you have to create a class so public class and then hello open and close curly braces now take note that this particular class name corresponds to the um file name file name that we have here so hello and then dot java so make sure that your file name and your class name is the same uh, the capitalization so for example if you have um uh, h or capitalize h here make sure your class is also capitalized uh, or have the capitalized h inside your class and of course that's the um, 
best practice in Java. Name to name your class with sentence case or capitalize capitalize each letter of every word so if for example you have um hello world right here uh, as your class name you have to make sure that your uh, file name and extension should be hello world that java in order for you uh in order for this to work so let me show you um what happens if your file name and your class name is different so um, public void main and then just um copy these lines for now uh, we will understand this later on and then open and close curly braces so public void and then um void main uh, void main string and then open and close curly braces so for example we want to display system that out the print line we want to display hello world okay and then save and in order to, to compile your source code you have to type in java c and then the name of your file dot java okay so oh uh, we need to add the arguments right here args okay so compiled by using java c and then hello dot java okay so as you can see uh the command prompt is um we're displaying error here because our class name is different from our file name which is hello and then we're using hello world right here so if, if we change this into hello so we should be able to um compile our java and then we could run our program by using the keyword or command java and then the file name without the extension or the class name itself so java hello and um we need to add the static right here public static void main okay and run again our program this is how you run your java program hello world okay now uh all these commands right here this is the output of our program so this is the source code and this is the output of our program so first we write the source code and try to compile that by using the java c java c command and then the complete file name which is hello that java and again make sure that the file name is is the same with the class name that you are using here and uh enter okay to compile your program so every change that you are making inside your source code you have to compile that in order for that to reflect inside our um uh during runtime of our program so for example we add another line here to display welcome to java programming save so every change that you make here and then you have to make sure that you save your source code and then compile again your uh, program and then run by using the java command and then the class name and that's what we are getting right here hello world and then welcome to java programming now if you don't want to make or if you don't want to use the um notepad or the 
command prompt that we are using here you can also use vs code as i've said and later on we will be using vs code and maybe proceed to netbeans now if you don't want to install anything into your computer you can just use this uh, online java compiler so you can make use of this instead of of type, typing java c hello that java every time you can just um run this in this particular website so for example hello world and then run and let's just check for the output and basically this is one way of compiling and uh, you know running uh, writing our code compiling our program and then run and then if there's an error then we can debug, uh, debug that inside this particular website so this is a bonus um, website that you can use uh, to make your java development very easy and especially if you're just starting in java so i think that's all there is to it in this particular video guys and um we will try to dig deeper in the next few tutorials so thank you for watching and see you in the next video